Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Team Fight Manager with the Rito Hypers. Currently 10 and 3 in the Pro League Division 2 here. Uh, on the upswing after a scary, I guess, like second quarter uh, of the season, I suppose. But um, I tell you what, a new patch came out and it is terrifying. It buffed up the ghosts. Uh, it, it did a couple other things. What, what did it do? It was it was a weird patch. Like the patch prior, I was saying was quite good. Um, I don't know about this one. We, we got a huge buff to the ghost where the attack damage is up to 32. Now, I think that it is going to potentially finally be the ghost meta, which is scary. But other than that, uh, Bard got buffed. I'm excited about that. That That's that's a big thing. Bard got buffed with HP. I think it was probably usable and viable before, but it's going to need that health if the ghost meta is truly going to pop off. Uh, Bard gets hard, like, hard countered by assassins, and, uh, boy, Ghost is an assassin. We'll probably start with this, as per use, and then bring in our relief pitchers to fix everything up for us. Uh, this is the lowest rated team in the league, if I am correct. We did lose to them. They are what's cursed us and started our, uh, our terrible lose streak for a couple, you know, I guess our three-game lose streak for a little bit. So alas, alas, we'll see what happens here. They banned the Illusionist first, which is interesting. The, the noteworthy thing is the meta may not have shifted into ghost game territory yet. It may not be that way yet. Like, people don't know that it's strong. Uh, that's right. Sniper got nerfed a little bit, right? Barely a slap on the wrist, though. I, it's, it was a very worthwhile nerf, for what it's worth. Uh, that being said, I do think I'll ban it because it's kind of like a mark against the ghost as well anyways. Um, I don't think I need to ban the Ice Mage because we can just always take Exorcist to counter it. Um, we don't need to ban... We could... I, I guess we could ban Swordsman. Uh, it's been a very strong, surprisingly strong character. Uh, Bart... Oh, Gambler. Gambler got destroyed. That's what happened. Oh, Gambler was great, and now Gambler is uh, less great, I would say. Gambler being less great? Okay, this is interesting. Gambler being less great is kind of a buff to Vampire as well. We'll have to think about that. Vampire is maybe a little bit more valid than it was. I think we'll see it as the foil to the ghost. Do I ban the ghost right now, though? Probably not. I don't think I ban it um, at the moment. I will ban the ninja, not because he's great, but because I don't want them to have ninja and ghost. I won't know what to do with that. They take the knight. That's in entirely fair and understandable. They're uh, they're stealing my strat. First pick knight every game because it's just it's just never bad. That's the thing. It's just never bad. Picking ghost into knight feels real bad. <laughs> so. But the thing is, I can't let them have Ghost, because if they have Ghost and Knight, what happens to me? Shield Bearer still totally valid and fine. Berserker's all right. Werewolf kind of probably okay. We, uh, we might see some more Werewolf play as well. Sorry, I just... It always takes a little bit of re-getting used to the meta after a big patch shift like that, and I'm trying to figure out what the plan is. Priestess is solid and could probably outheal Ghost. I think let's take Swordsman Priestess. If they take Ghost, they take Magic Knight. Oof. Okay. Don't really have AoE. Um, Werewolf could work. Running through him, taking out the Magic Knight a little bit more often. Poor Archer, man. Poor Archer. I just, what a, an unusable character at the moment. Uh, Shrine Maiden may be valid. Devil, all right. I just don't know what to pick into this. I don't know what to pick into this at all. Do they know? They probably know about the um, Ice Mage Exorcist counter by now, so I can't really take that. I could preemptively take Exorcist now. I don't know, man. This sucks. I'll take Berserker, I guess. I uh, With what we know right now, and then this is going to blow us up, or nope. 
Exorcist. This is interesting. The Devil is the only other character that has CC in the game, as far as I'm aware. Um, so that's currently with our, our certain... Not in the game, in our game, in the current setup. Uh, so what are we going to do? Let's take... Probably put Dead End Saint on... Um, yeah, put that insane on Swordsman. I think that's valid. I think that's fine. Collaboration attack. We definitely don't really want that on. Ooh, wait. There, that's actually nice. Because we don't... Collaborative attack can be a problem sometimes. I think this is good. Um, Smell of blood. I think... It's probably worth the trade-off to not get Brittle Body here. I think this is fine. Disnomia will play our ex Exorcist. We will ult late... Because we want the Exorcist Ultimate to be absolutely prime. Let's start our game here. In we shall go. We are seeing the backline priestess. Likely going to be able to do a lot of healing. Get a ton of healing out before anything really truly happens. If they can get themselves out of the way. So they do not get taken bound down by the Magic Knight's ability there. We do not have a ton of damage coming out on the back of this. This is a 2-2 game. Very low kill game. Backline finally targeted by the Ice Mage is going to change things up a little bit here. Four and five. There's Nomi is sitting at seven stacks of the ability right there. Very few people are going down. Devil taking out the Priestess in the back. Shuffles around so that the Swordsman is the com uh, combatant instead. Frontline's living on nothing here. Two... Characters at nothing. Ultimate coming out from Disnomia is destroying them. A weird ultimate combo there from the Swordsman and the Berserker on top of the Exorcist Ult. I would definitely say that was not the time to go for it. 12 and 13. This is looking very scary. For 13, 14. Dead end say You just need to live. Logical Echo. You just need to live. 14, 14. Next kill is probably going to do it. 14, 16. Very, very scary. Very, very scary indeed. Uh... Swordsman did not really perform. Logical Echo, that did not really perform. We didn't do a whole lot of damage um, with our characters that are supposed to do damage. I would say, yeah, of course, the large amount of damage coming out from, oh my god, from the Magic Knight. The, here's the thing, though. This is the thing. This this proved very strongly that I, I was correct about Priestess being very, very nice right now. Uh, but that was one probably on the back of us um, having much better ults than they did. Uh, just not like well-timed or well-placed. Just the, our ults are better than their ults unless the devil can stay protected. The devil could not stay protected. That is just not a thing that uh, that could happen there. I think I pretty much carried this match. Um, you're an exorcist. I would say stay humble. I wouldn't say No. But I also am not going to keep you in over healing element if that's what it comes to. Seems like a pretty obvious switch there. I don't know if we're going to get to play either of these characters, anywho. And I don't know if we want to with Ghost on the Rise, potentially. Uh, we are on red, so Brad is probably not the swap in here. Could potentially be the play over in Navy Cell to get more warrior buffs. I'm not going to be playing Gambler right now. I might play a uh, Sniper. It's been a, we we banned Sniper all of yesterday, so I wouldn't say I I won't say I'm not going to play it. If that if it arises as the obvious choice, then it does. You know, what am I scared of? For some reason, the Magic Knight. Gambler tells me that they definitely have not read the patch notes. Um, Gambler got pretty pretty wrecked there. I'm not going to say it's unusable, but it might be. <laughs> it could, it could, actually could be. Uh, we get first, uh, first big first pan. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave the squishies. I'm going to leave the squishies and see what happens. I'm going to ban shield bear. See if they ban knight. They take Okay, they ban vampire. I'm getting rid of the other front line. <clears throat> this is super, super safe. They take sniper. They take exorcist. Okay. You know what? I tell you what. 
I gotta know. This is a relative. This is this is to gather information. This is to gather information. I need to know if this is potentially good or not. Like this seems like this could be really really good. I think we take. Do we take Shrine Maiden? Is it like our, our support to keep the ghost alive, but also they get to do some damage on like the cook? Um, and then I'm taking the devil. I'm going weird. I'm going weird. I'm well aware of how weird this is. Ice Mage makes sense, but you're also so squishy. They have a tank. The Exorcist is weirdly tanky. Uh, that is very much the case. Collaboration attack. This could work. This could totally work. Uh, alt late, alt early. Alt early and try and get lots of stacks for the ghost. Here we go, big thing to watch. Disnomia on the ghost. Of course, it's gonna be an important thing to watch. And before we get our teleports out, we're gonna see a lot of issues here. One stack for Disnomia, two stacks for Disnomia. Absolutely terrifying amount of damage coming out. Navy Cell switching into the ultimate form for the devil here. Ultimate coming out from the Shrine Maiden. Should keep things in our favor. An incredible amount of stacks. Five stacks for the ghost, six stacks for the ghost. Chomping away, six stacks, seven stacks. 8 stacks, 9 stacks, 10 stacks, 11 stacks, each chop is a stack, 12 stack, 13, 14, 15, could we see it? Could it be? It's the season of the ghost, must be the season of the ghost, ultimate coming out from the ice mage, only thing gonna stop the assault of the demonic ghost with 11 kills already here, moving into the end, one shot, one shot the sniper. Two shots to everybody else on the team. 26-9, another stack. Sit, end of the game with 22 stacks on the Ghost 17-4. Ladies and gentlemen. I hate to say it. I know it's a meme. And I hate that this kills the meme. But ladies and gentlemen. Could this have been the Ghost game? Oh no. What have you done, fake Riot Games? Oh boy. Shrine Maiden had a higher KDA just because it didn't die very much. Um, picked four games. I, I would say I like seeing this though. This, this makes me happy. Uh, Shrine Maiden still being in a valid spot even after the nerfs prior. Uh, there's not gonna be lots of information. Ooh. 11 picks on Ice Mage and having a less than positive uh, win rate is kind of surprising. Especially considering where Devil's at. I feel like this is directly tied to each other. I feel like Ice Mage... I feel like Devil can counterpick Ice Mage a bit. I feel like that's the information that we gain out of that. Maybe. Maybe. And it, make, it would make sense. Ice Mage is great when there's only one person on them. And Devil is an assassin, but they more turn your, the an enemy into a reverse assassin. <laughs> and a, a character who does, it just takes a character that doesn't want to be in melee range and it puts him in melee range. Kind Kangaroos are another bottom seed team here, relatively low. No, they're they're five. They're five. That's not that bad. We, we gotta be we gotta be worried, I would say. But alas, uh, could it freaking be a ghost game? Do you don't do we don't first pick ghost though, right? We don't first pick ghost. We don't first pick ghost. But do we allow them to first pick ghost though? Do we allow that nightmare to happen? None of them are ghost mains. They all have, uh, they're all respectable humans. Uh, we don't have to worry too much. I don't think I should ban Magic Knight though on Ghost. If we want to take a Ghost game, let's see. I feel like the information hasn't spread yet. We will see. Ice Mage. Pyromancer. Ghost. Illusionist Devil. What? 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 
What? Yeah, I think this is I think this is it. Ult early again. Oh boy. We'll see how this goes. Priestess instead of uh what? What was it? What was the other thing? Exorcist. Um Ah, uh, it might that might that'll probably be, it'll be worse. It'll be scarier. Uh ghost never important to watch what the ghost does early it is completely irrelevant we are losing the frontline assault to a large degree here can the ghost take out the priestess by themselves if they can't it's, this is going to be a really big issue ultimate coming out from the devil here this is going to be the time if we navy cell you got to get out of there man switches out there standing in the bit of the fire there great ultimate from of course the shrine main able to keep ourselves alive for a little bit longer here not a lot of stacks going on the ghost five stacks here yeah, spoke a little bit too soon seven stacks cleanup crew is in order eight stacks taking them out in nearly one hit nine stacks potentially yep coming out nine stacks as soon as we get the ability to one shot them it is all over a couple double ultimates here from the pyromancer and the ice mage things are going to be shifting hopefully a little bit more into our favor here another stack for the ghost seeing things 16 12 moving the last 10 seconds here not nearly as uh, dominant of a ghost game showing that it is not an infallible technique but alas alas we are getting lots of stacks 8 5 moving to the last zero seconds here 21 13 largely on the back of the fact that the ghost did a obscene amount of damage it definitely was a ghost game through and through but these teams are going to stop taking a full team of squishies at some point right like they're not going to just keep doing that they're not just gonna they're not just gonna keep doing that they banned magic knight here's the thing i i do think that i think that the devil is also integral to getting the ghost online i really do uh, i think ghost is a great pick into illusions because i'm pretty sure someone mentioned that they get that ghost gets stacks from the apparitions which is wild if true See, I don't like this because we're second pick. We shouldn't have done that. I don't know what they're taking. Do they know that they like they have to know that Ghost is broken now, right? After that game, they have to know. So if that's the case, I don't really want to play Illusionist anyway. Maybe just make the team happy. They have to know, right? Let's limit test. This is important. This is early in the season. Let's limit test. Oh, no. Okay, we have to take the werewolf on that for the healing reduction. Ah, uh, what? Okay, and a swordsman. <laughs> and then a swordsman. Uh, hit me with the devil. Let's go degenerate style. Triple Assassin and a Knight, why not? Why not? Uh, Dysnomia, our Ghost Master. Healing element on... Hmm. Collaboration attack on Werewolf makes a lot of sense, actually, because it is a good... Like, A, he can dash. B, if it means somebody else is attacking it, it means that we want healing reduction on them. Stat. Ultimate early, totally fine again. Let's check it out. They got a big old team of squishies and they got a swordsman up front. We'll see how this goes. The werewolf dashing through them like crazy. We do not have that much of a front line here keeping us alive. Not having the key component of the Shrineman is going to be a large issue here. Six kills starting early for them. That is not going to necessarily mean that's how the game is going to go. Got ultimates coming out here. Healing element. Very low HP for that ultimate on the devil here. Seeing that teleporting. Oh my god. Things are swish swiftly switching around here as they have lost their footing the ultimate still on the table for the swordsman is going to be a large concern and a large issue for us shrine main does go down gonna be a really big deal ultimate completely missing the devil but the ultimate from the pyromancer did not everybody pop it up at the same time here dysnomia sitting at nine stacks here on the ghost moving into the end here it is looking pretty clean another team of squishies a squishies and a swordsman 17 13 last five seconds here pyromancer laying down a large sum of damage but Dysnomia keeping up shockingly well despite being four and six. That was a game that was just largely on the back of them not having 
What? Where did our kills even come from? I had the teams backwards. I had the team backwards. We lost. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. It's on the back of... Uh, yeah, nobody nobody activated there. It's just... Where, werewolf... I think werewolf's dead. Oh, no. I think werewolf's dead. All right. We've limit tested. We've limit tested. You mean another chance? Uh, you should do your best whether I trust you or not. All right. I literally just read the teams backwards. First time for everything. I think we do run the same setup of players. For what it's worth. Uh, yeah, ghost didn't work. Obviously, it can be it can be countered. That's important. Like I was saying, it's important to limit tests like that. What stopped everything? Truly. Shrine Maiden? We're first pick. We can take Shrine Maiden. We can just take Shrine Maiden. If we take Shrine Maiden, do I worry about Ghost? Do I care about Ghost? Shrine Maiden, if they take Ghost, they take Ghost Ghost Knight, theoretically. Uh, let's just ban Sniper, because I, ha I have to ban something. I'd be fine with skipping. If I'm going to be honest, I'd be fine with just not having any bans. Hmm. Illusionist opens the door for Ghost, especially if I do get Shrine Maiden. I'll take Cook. Oh. I have to take Shrine Maiden, they get Knight here, which is going to cause a, a weird problem. I'll take Knight into Pyro, because I don't. That doesn't mean I've committed. This, this is. Ah, this is not great. I don't like this. I do not like this. I do not like this. Sniper being gone caused a bit of a problem. Uh, Devil, I think, is going to be a valid pick here to get the pyro into melee range. I think that's important. And the fact that I can't pick Exorcist next is a bit of an annoyance because it makes me kind of want to pick Ice Mage and see if they're going to go for it. We could. We need damage. We need lots of damage, actually. We need lots of damage really fast. Uh, Ghost is, is not going to bring damage by himself. Illusionist is probably the best bet here. I'm glad I caught that there. I was fully expecting Ghost to show up. I don't know that Vampire is the pick. But we don't have any counters to him, so it, it could be. I think this all works out okay. How do we check the alts? Uh, we don't check alts, we widen distance. All right, here we go. I'm a little scared here. This is a this is a very untested type of game here. Healing element being absolutely destroyed by the vampire before the vampire goes back to their coffin to just relax for a little bit there. Seeing, okay, we teleport the coffin into our front line, which is very strange here. Destroying, okay, the devil is playing absolute tricks on us by teleporting that coffin around. The vampire completely out of the game, though, basically, as long as that gets teleported into the front line is not too big of a concern, but our front line is chasing that coffin from the back. Navy Cell has swapped into all ultimate form here ultimate coming out from the shrine maiden as well going to make things incredibly good for the first little bit here of the game laying down a lot of destruction on the devil here ultimate's coming out is going to completely reset momentum i will say the fact that they all happened at once is not that bad at the very least could have been much much worse 16 10 and we are the blue team this time so this time it is looking quite good for us vampire sitting in the middle of the fray back in the back line but teleports away due to the coffin taking a little bit of damage there devil teleporting the coffin into the back line over here see 19 13, 13 and the Rito Hypers do pick up a game on the back of the massive damage from Dysnomia. Again, so glad I caught our lack of damage before we hit the send game button. We have utility, support, tank, damage question mark? Where? Where is it? Where's the damage? I don't know. Oh my god. The overweight ostriches just lost their game against the uh, the jealous jellyfish. Who are currently the bottom seed. 
This is the strangest league I've ever seen. Strange, strange, strange. Check the champ stats. What are we at? Uh, win rate sitting at 100% for Ninja on one game with a 1.29 KDA and 947 damage dealt. Not really data. Shrine Maiden sitting at 77% win rate on nine games with a 5.27 KDA is data. That is data. Uh, yeah, that's a big deal. Uh, uh, some of the counters and, and things that were standing in the way of Shrine Maiden were bopped, largely. Uh, Bard has still not been played. I've been wanting to play it, but the looming threat of the ghost makes the Bard very terrifying. You can't really play it into it. Two picks. Okay, Fighter has lost both of the Oh, boy, howdy. This is data. This is data. Oh my god. 18% win rate on 11 games picked Shield Bearer. Just, just a very ineffective slot in right now. Everything from here on up, I would say you can still think about it. Priestess being this low is worth considering. Um, Priestess being that low probably just because Shrine Maiden is just... If you take Priestess, the other team probably has Shrine Maiden. That's a bad thing for you. You want that to be flipped bad. All right, Musical Mermaids. We got ourselves a depressed Logical Echo, but I think we just have to rock it. Brad may see some play this game due to having the love for Ret. Nope, actually, next turn, we're going to be on blue. Okay, they get first pick. We have to ban Shrine Bin. It's a, it's a must ban. It's a must ban. Um, if they get first pick, we probably, eh, we could let them have Illusionist, then we could get Ghost. Huh. Uh, Swordsman Priestess. Just heavy damage could solve it. Collaboration attack on Sniper. Very, very useful. Pyro. Fighter. I... Uh, I have two massive... I mean, I, sh I, what? Shield bearer? This is weird. Were werewolf, probably. Werewolf, 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 werewolf. Getting rid of some of the healing from the, the priestess there, making it even more ineffective and limp. Swap, swap. Uh, does Nomia stay on that? I would say for the body. More important that that is not on the werewolf right now. I'd say that that's going to be the play. Widen the distance. We do have uh, a Pyromancer on the opposite team. I'm very concerned by this, but I'm thinking we could probably out damage. Oh, no. they, have two, they have two pretty okay tanks. But alas, we shall see how much damage can we put out to the... Running through their lines here. Not a lot of healing coming out from the Priestess. Logical Echo on Navy Cell. Swapping in here. Taking out the Priestess in the back line. Two and four early on here. Neutral game is looking very much in favor of the Rito Hypers. But there is a lot of game left to be played here. Seeing the AoE go down. Navy Cell standing in the back line. Absolutely ripping them apart in the back. Nothing they can do at the current moment right here. Ultimate coming out from Navy Cell. Uh, kind of a... Kind of a strange one there, if I'm going to be honest. A lot of ultimates coming out at the moment here. Priestess putting down theirs, and it was honestly not that big of a deal, all things considered. Neutral game falling a little bit flat here as we are splitting our damage out in a very ineffective and sloppy way. 14-11 in favor of the Musical Mermaids. We got a few moments here to switch things into our favor, and I do think we could. Navy Cell, it is all up to you. You need to stop running around. You need to start targeting collaboration attack absolutely destroying us in this game 
1914, good, good play early. Terrible play late. Dysnomia did not do a whole lot there either. Six deaths. We didn't have enough tanking. No tanking. No supporting. 1,400 healing from the Priestess is incredibly terrifying. We are not in a good spot right now. It's true that you cause us defeat. Oh, I thought you always liked the... Okay, the, you like the... You don't like bottom left. You like generally positive. Okay, so that would probably be upper right then. Oh, boy. Werewolf is just not working to, to counter heals. It's just not good enough. And it's not tanky enough anymore. It's just bad now. Unfortunately, I think it's just bad now. I'm going to bait. <laughs> yes, please. Priestess, understood, valid. Knight, valid, annoying. Um, me getting Shrine Maiden first is big. Them taking Knight. I should have been... Honestly, I should have been Knight. I, I actually should have been Knight now that I think about it. For some reason, I thought that I could get Ghost and Knight. I don't know that I can win on this here alone. What do we have? Is a, we don't have a front line. There's no actual front line. I think we have to take the Swordsman here. Best front line we got. And it is, it's pretty good. Illusionist, we could take the ghost. I can't last pick it. That's the thing. It's like I literally, like I literally can't. Um, but we need a backline. Vampire, a little concerning. They don't have anything to kill our coffin. They'd have to pick an assassin last. They might do so. Preempt with Ice Mage so they don't get it, knowing full well they could take Exorcist. But to preempt any potential assassin going for our vampire. Pyro. I don't think this is the Pyro game, but I could be wrong. I will say I really like the look of this for us right now. Alt separate, I guess. Spacing apart is nice and all, but I don't think we're going to have to be too worried about it. Alas, we're seeing Dysnomia jump in there. Not an incredibly good start, but hey, never really is. Always having the Assassin jump into the front line right away is a bit spooky. Bleed coming out on Trace. A lot of damage coming out. Dysnomia going down there on the fact that the AoE being on the coffin is going to be a large issue. Taking out the coffin once more. Dysnomia is getting absolutely destroyed. The vampire seems woefully ineffective absurdly ineffective to the fact that they're just standing AoEing the coffin right now. Massive AoEs coming out from every which way. 1 to 11. This game is not looking good. Not even a little bit. Not even at all. The Vampire is looking like a terrible, terrible pick and a terrible champion also altogether. Massive damage coming out. Able to stop the assault of the Shrine Maiden. They're literally spawn camping us with AoE. They are literally spawn camping us with AoE. 3 to 22. We literally can't do anything. We can't get out. 13 kills. 11 kills. They We can't move. They're literally spawn camping us. There was an AoE down the second we spawned that was going off. And the vampire is such a bad character. And the Rito Hypers take a loss here. Holy crap, vampire needs help. Navy Cell getting a couple buffs there. Uh, on this chain. I've never seen this one before. Uh, healing element, get a couple buffs across the board. There's no me attacking werewolf up there. Logical echo, getting a little bit of a defense of upgrade. Let's train, um, let's train this or train this in. Um, give me a mage actually. All 
All right. A spooky game. A spooky game. It's the Giant Gooses, our old rivals from the semi-pro league. We'll see how this one goes, how things have changed, has shifted. I will say I do not want to play the vampire. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. Good band that. What do we got? Uh, what else do we be concerned about? Um... You can't also have the Illusionist ban Shrine Maiden. Ban Gambler. Okay, with this all being said, I think we can take Shrine Maiden. Vampire. Sniper. She'll bear that bad. Hear me out. What do you, you take another shot? Okay, that's what, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Boom. Nice to see you. And I think I preemptively, I think I take the Ice Mage so that they, A, they don't get it to stop my ghost. B, it does actually do a lot of damage. Um... The other thought would be, I guess, like the cook, but I don't think we need to. I think we take, I think we take Ice Mage here. See Priestess there. That makes a lot of sense. That makes so much sense. It's annoying, and it makes a lot of sense. Aye, aye, aye. Maybe Cell going to be on Trimame? Possibly. I guess that's the way it goes. Uh, we shall alt early. We don't have the devil here to activate the ghost, but I think that we don't need it. They're so, 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 so squishy. We'll at least be able to keep the vampire out. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Alt early. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Ghost. Let's see how you fare, my friend. Fallen early, as is always the way here. We do not have a front line. That is the big thing that is a concern here. Terrible spacing on the ultimates there. Absolutely disgusting ultimate coming out from the Shrine Maiden. Going to be incredibly good here. Disnomi gets the second stack. Hopefully, we can start to activate off of that. Killing them as soon as they spawn. We spawn camp now, baby. Seeing Peanuts going absolutely wild here with the, uh, the ability... Over left and right is like a freaking Gatling gun. There's nobody on four stacks right now. Not too incredible. We are seeing a rough situation here. Vampire does go down. There's nobody coming in to take down. Hopefully, oh my god, getting the stack on the Pyromancer before it was too late. That was a very scary, tight little situation right there. 12-15 in the favor of them. We're going to need some stacks going on the Ghost right now. Taking out the Priestess is going to be huge. Taking out the Sniper as well is going to be huge. 14-17, we have a lot of ground to cover. And we're just not going to do it with how much... The, uh, the Pyromancer can set things out. 1819, we actually almost did. I can't get over how busted the Pyromancer is when we're not playing a clumped up team. Too many slipped up to say we're like, hey, I, we know exactly why we, we didn't win. It's the, frac the, the fact that this uh, Pyromancer is, is out there is crazy. Like, wait, the fact that it's taking down our entire team when we're not playing clumped is stupid. They get first pick. They're not going to first pick Pyro for what it's worth, but I, I, they ban Ghost is interesting. I'll ban Shrine Maiden. Priestess getting a lot of play now. I will first pick Knight on this, and I will first pick uh, Illusionist. We have the only like wombo damage dealer shield bearer what i want a princess Okay, they did not go for anything in the back. We can actually probably take Bard. If this is the game. If there's a game it's to, to, to take Bard, it's second pick fourth. Or uh, go second, pick at fourth slot. Untested. 
has only been buffed. I do think that they're going to be an incredibly strong character. I am very scared of this situation, obviously. Uh, but alas, we shall see. Life of the party. Collaboration attack. Kind of strange here, but I think it could be good. Healing element on the bard. I think that is probably the way to go. Attack speed up on Navy Cell. I am scared of this. This is terrifying. Uh, ult. Simultaneously, actually. I would say simultaneously. It's going to be a massacre when it shows up. It should be an easy four kills and hopefully another easy four kills after that. But we shall see an untested healing element on the bard in the back line here. Going to be increasing the team's attack speed like crazy. Navy Cell chop chopping away up in the front line there. Does Nomia putting down a lot of damage, a lot of damage early. Ultimate immediately wiping out our entire team is a little stupid, I gotta say. Ultimate's coming out from all of them there. I, will, I think this will be okay, though. Truthfully, a lot of it went down. We All of our ultimates coming out at the same time, absolutely ripping them to smithereens here. Going crazy. Attack speed out the wazoo here. 7-7 seven to seven immediately. We have cleaned things up. Our ultimates were uh, much better than theirs. That's for sure. Healing element putting out a lot of assists here. Hopefully, with the uh, wonderful attack speed upgrade, Disnomia laying down 900 damage. 2,000 damage coming out from the Void Knight is crazy here. 10-8. to eight. We are still losing nonetheless. This needs to switch, and this needs to switch fast. We're unable to out-damage the healing of the Priestess. Here we go. Chop, 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 chop. We gotta go three, two, one. Last little bit here, last stretch. Next death is the win, and it is on them. You've gotta be kidding me. 3,000 damage from the Magic Knight. <laughs> How did they... How did they do this? 2,000 healing from the Priestess. That ultimate that killed four with the Swordsman is just so unlucky. They killed four in one fell swoop. Does Nomia got the Illusionist? I would say that that's a really good get. That's a good get. That's a good get. That's good get. That's a good get. All right. You know what? Send it. Final game. We'll see what happens. Oh, boy. Quick, quick, quick. Life, boys. Swap you in. All right. We're, we've lost our grasp on the meta because, uh, guess what? It's uh, practically impossible right now. It's very, very strange. Um, I'm banning Pyro. I know I could play it. I don't want to be that way. Uh, Devil's gone. If Devil's gone, Ghost can't really be played. I'm banning Priestess. Okay, you ban Priestess and you ban the uh, the ninja who could probably take out the Shrine Main. I will definitely take Shrine Main first. Vampire, they got it. Cook, they got it. I take Swordsman, Insta Lock. That ultimate, though. All right, uh, Cook and Vampire. We need something that can take out the back line, probably. Um, I think I think Magic Knight is close enough. Gambler, I don't think that's the play. I think we win this one. Probably shouldn't call it so early, but I I feel like we win this one. I think we win this one on that. <laughs> All right. Knight is Knight is scary. Like, there's a reason I take I keep taking Knight. Like, I'm not gonna lie there. Uh, Cook is sort of untested right now. Alt simultaneously. Alt, uh... alt separate. It's basically like we need the swordsman alt to go off properly. Alas, here though, we do not want to see Navy Cell in the front there on the Magic Knight. They're gonna go down far too quick. First kill out on the hands of Navy Cell though, doing a very obscene amount of damage. Couldn't can't believe this character used to be 25% more damaging. That is kind of crazy to believe right now. There's Nomi laying down a little bit of damage here. The vampire able to jump to the back line, but they did not go down. They actually hold on. We killed them so hard that their uh, their coffin went away. Ultimate coming out on the back of the cook. Swordsman, kind of mediocre ult, but it did take out the big backline scariness there. Bringing in that coffin into the center here. Ultimate coming out from the Gambler. I don't know if that's good. It sure seemed like it was good. Uh, seeing ourselves fall a little bit out of momentum here, but in the last little stretch, we do seem like we are going to win the neutral here on the back of the fact we have much better damage than them. Gambler 
is doing really, really surprisingly well. 11-9 moving into the end. 12-11 in the last little seconds. 12-12. Navy Cell gonna go down. You've gotta be kidding me. I wanna lose my mind here. 13-13. Last little stretch here. It's gonna come down to this final kill in overtime in the favor of them. I can't believe this. I don't understand this game. How did the how did the gambler put down this much damage? Did he get that lucky with the ultimate? He got nerfed to the ground. What's happening? I'm losing my mind. I think we actually can keep him logical echo. If he's, I, I I think we can play Pyro. Playing Pyro, what else do we want? Well, we want to support. Let's do it. Let's do it. Love for red. We can we can justify that. Okay. What do we not want to see is Pyro. Apparently we have to ban the gambler still, so maybe we just do that. Don't really want to see the sniper in the same game as I play Pyro. Don't first pick it, don't first pick it. Okay. Okay, I'm happy with that. Uh, next, we, we want warriors. Obviously, I would have liked the knight. Um, I just need, I need something that is going to stand in front and take the hits. I guess that could be executed. Ex uh, exorcist but we don't get the warrior buff then it's for you dead end saint illusionist makes sense vampire makes sense but I think that the power actually is really good against the vampire uh, and then we'll take the magic knight for another warrior for the front line even though it's shaky shaky to call it this a warrior uh, but we're obviously going to have Logical Echo play good old-fashioned Pyromancer. Healing Elements should indeed be on uh, the Shrine Maiden. And then Brad coming in, swapping in. Old man Brad at the ripe age of, what, 23? Uh, we'll see, we'll see. I think ult, ult simultaneously is actually kind of cracked here. We shall see this in action. Uh, alas, last final game of the day. Potentially, hopefully not. Hopefully we get one more after this. But we're seeing Healing Element getting jumped by the Vampire in the back line. We are, of course, going to be concerned by that. Logical Echo being largely uncontested here, standing off to the side. Finally getting chased down by the Knight and getting taken down by the Knight. A lot of damage coming out from the Priestess here, of course, is going to cause a lot of an issue for us. Oh my god, 5-0. and oh, We have not even taken a single kill on the board yet. And things are getting even more and more gross by the second ultimate coming out from the Illusionist is horrid seeing the ultimates coming out all at the same time where he, they're getting healed in the middle of our fire it doesn't even matter 10 and 0 we haven't even taken a single kill yet on this game here more than awesome not laying that first finally getting a kill here with 13 and 1 in the last little bit why even talk about this one why even talk about this one 2000 healing on the board with the uh, the priestess of course we're not going to be able to get through anything here you would think with the pre with the uh, damage that the Pyromancer can lay down and mix with the damage that the Magic Knight can lay down that this would be an absolute massacre. But alas, it's not. It's nothing. We can't touch it. 21 and 4, the Rio Hypers enter their second depression arc. I don't know how to... I don't know how to play in this meta. Team's chemistry is a mess. Fans are expressing concerns. What do you think of the team's current situation? Uh... Don't respond. Do not respond. Do we bring in anybody else? I unfortunately I don't think so. <sighs> no patch. To shake things up. Man, things just turned out so sour. The AI figured out the meta, and I still haven't. That 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 degenerate patch ruined everything. Oh boy. We have three really big games ahead of us if if we're lucky. Let's check out the champion information. Or uh, not the champion information, the champ stats. Gambler is the highest win rate. That's weird. Illusionist, that one makes sense. That's not even surprising in the slice. 64% win rate on 48 means we should be picking it more. What? 
Why is Pyro at 40% but laying down all that damage? What's happening there? What is what's happening there? What's happening there? Pyro is terrifying in every game I fight against her and completely limp in every game I pick her. What the heck, man? Shield Bear is just so bad. 13 game. Uh, yeah. Werewolf understood. Magic Knight I, is such a strange character. I just do not understand. Knight being at 44% is weird. Where's the Exorcist? Exorcist is at 60%. Vampire is still totally fine. Cook is fine. Devil's good. This is just strange. Very, 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 very strange. Alas, alas, we got what? Weekly activity to do here. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow uh, ahead of the big games here for the final season. Potentially here. We shall see. Alas, alas, this is that. And that is going to do it for today. Rito Hypers signing off. If you are going to be sad to see the series go, you're going to have to let me know, so comment down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.